guys. How are ya? Uh, Damsel here with another drawing video for you. But I'm sick. Anyways, so we're going to be drawing this a cool Romo made today. I started drawing her outline. Actually, I finished drawing her pencil outline. But if you want to see it, then here's the video. Okay, so this picture was inspired by cherry blossoms and how pretty they are. And also, I love mermaids. <laughs> yes. So I decided to make a Sakura mermaid. Anyway, so now we are going to outline it. <laughs> so I'm just going to grab my 0 0.05 pen. It's really thin, like I said before. <laughs> um, it's from the brand Uni Pin Fine Line. Water and fade proof pigment ink. Oh, pigment. Look at that pigment. <laughs> I'm sorry. Okay, so the Sakura mermaid is a Japanese kind of mermaid because obviously cherry blossom, Sakura, you know. Yeah. Okay, so what I'm gonna so she has a blue tail and everything else about her is like pink. Not a skin tone, don't worry. She's not like the present princess with purple skin. At least I don't have to do any exercise today because my nose is running. Get it? Because you know, nose running, you know, run, so you don't have to do exercise. <gasps> okay. Okay, eyebrow, eyebrow, eyebrow. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Are you that? Kid that has never noticed. Oh, wait, where? Right here! Sorry, I didn't notice you there. Oh, that's better. Anyways, are you never noticed by other kids? Yep. Oh. Well, we have got solutions for you. Really? Yes, I just said that. Yes. Now be noticed. Oh. So, all you'll need is, is some perfume. I didn't have any strong perfume, but this is good. Firstly, spray a lot of perfume on it, not in your eye, and just spray it everywhere to make yourself smell amazing. Oh. And then spray some on your foot. Then, when you walk around, everyone will fall for you. Literally. In fine line because I've already done pencil. Okay, okay, it's going good. Okay. I should stop. Okay, now she's got one of her cherry blossoms. Now I'm doing one of her cherry blossoms in her hair. Someone didn't listen to, uh, to the I was recording. Hello. Hello. Oh no, no. Oh, bye. My dog was cringing at my work. Okay. <coughs> <coughs> that was a fake one. This is real. <coughs> I don't get how. It's very random, by the way. I don't get how people when they sleep like this. And then when they wake up, they're just like, ah, me. Then the next morning. <laughs> Actually, I don't think I wake up because I, I sleep in a lot. Okay, now we're just doing her hair. So she's got a bun. No, not these ones. <laughs> so she's got um, a big bun in her hair. Okay, I'm going to speed it up. Okay, so now it's time for the fun bit. Exercise. No, I'm joking. We don't do exercising. Okay, now we're just going to get um, going to get some pure pink and I just what am I doing? Put it in the cheeks and 
then on her nose as well. I don't know why. Actually, I do know why. I know my stuff, man. Oh. Okay, so we're going to get um, Pale Fruit Pink and we're just going to um, blend the cheeks in, the cheeks, sorry. Now we're just going to Now I'm doing her chin. Okay, I've done the bottom part of her face from here to here. Now I'm doing the top bit. So, yeah. Oh, she looks like a clown. I'm sorry, Sakura. Okay, there we go. That looks pretty good. That's pretty good. I'm sorry. Okay, now we're going to get... um. Oh, it's on the end. Bali beige. There we go. Now she got them shadows in her face. Now we're just going to blend the shadows into her skin tone. Like contouring. Now we're just going to add a bit more shadow and then just not blend it in. So then you got like a, a shadow and then it's like blended. So now we're just going to grab the pink, put it on her shoulders because she's a pink lover. You know what I'm saying? Oh, we need to... Okay, this is okay. Now we're just going to blend the pink in with her skin tone. Now we're just doing the other, what did I say blending the cheeks? Because I meant to say blending the, or did I say pink? When you don't keep tra track of your words, kids. I can't speak today. Oh no, sorry, I can never speak, okay. What? Hmm? Okay. <clears throat> now we're just going to add the shadow dip. Underneath her chin on the neck, and then what are those things called here? The collarbone. Oh my gosh, I now know the word. Okay, now we're just gonna blend the collarbone in. Then the neck, and then, yeah, there we go. And then we're just gonna add barley beige just on the neck, just a, just a slight on the neck. And then, there you go, you've got a skin tone. Now for her face, for her makeup and her eyes. So for her eyes, we're going to go with dark bark. Here, it's like it's a brown. There we go. And then we got maroon, which is supposed to be red. We all know. I think is it supposed to be red? Then we're just going to uh, go underneath the dark buck. There we go. Okay, now she definitely needs some eyeliner because her face is just looking, her eyes are just looking so um simple and like it's not working for me. I just, I think I just need some more uh, mascara. Mascara. <laughs> um, I'm not American. We say mascara. Mascara! Now we're going to get um, frost blue, which I probably have no more left. Oh, jeez. Oops. I probably have no um, frost blue left because I used it for my homework. <laughs> what? Yeah, I used like the whole. Oh! Bit is coming out. Yeah, so we're just gonna put that on our eyeshadow. It's supposed to be liner. Okay. Oh. 
Now we're just going to put some white on her shoulders and then just blend it in with the skin. To make it look like her shoulders are shiny, that did not work, so we're just going to put white there. And there we go. And maybe just a bit on her nose and a bit on the cheeks. Sorry, I'll stop that. There we go. Yes, we've done her face. Oh no, we haven't. We still need to do her lips. So she's got like carmine. We'll say carmine. And then a bit of purple in it. So we'll go carmine. Oh yeah, that's way too red. Add a bit of oh my life was like there we go. Add a bit of lilac. Sorry about that. Lilac, there we go. Okay, now we're just going over the lips. That did not help at all. But you know, it's okay. Now we're just going to get violet. Great, violet's going to be so dark. And then we're going to do the top of her lips. And then a bit of the, the side of the bottom lip. Then grab carmine. And then just blend in the purple to the pink. And then just add a bit more lilac into the red. There we go. Yeah. Doesn't look that great, but it could do. Now I'm just going to get the white and go underneath her mouth because she might have some lipstick stains. Okay, now we've done her skin tone and face. Now what we are going to do is the uh, top. So we're going to get pink. Pink and um, just get inside. Okay, um, just get a colorless blender. Yeah. So we're just going to go over a bit of the top, not fully because then you you still need a bit of white left over. We're just gonna try and make it from darker pink to lighter pink. There we go, that's working pretty well. Now we're just going, oh no, the colourless blender is not going to work. But I'll get the colourless blender. Oh no, we'll use um, this side, actually. And then just blend the pink into the white. And by the way, this is Chameleon, the brand. Now we'll just get our pink and just do a few simple lines in it. There we go. Now we've done her top. Now we just need to fill in uh, the sacks around it. So she has got, is it carmine? No, it's more pink. So we'll get, um, hmm. I'm really confused. So really, carmine's very red. We'll go with dog rose pink. Okay. Oh, that's very bright. Should we use fuchsia? Oh! Wait, do I even have fuchsia anymore? Yeah, I do. Okay, let's use fuchsia. Blend that into the dog rose pink. There we go, now just get a warm grey, number five, and then just uh, go over the pink, the um, fuchsia, just 
just once. Then blend the fuchsia into the ombre. And then you have her sash! That was very loud. Okay, now we'll get um, white and do a white ribbon on her. Well, in her sash. And then just add a little white strokes. I think I messed this up. Whoops. It's okay. There's always... There's always next time, right? Yeah. Anyways, that looks pretty good. Now we've got the tail. So, you will get... A bit of peacock blue. Process blue. Is that process? Yeah. Oh, um, Robin's egg and frost blue, all those. And then just start uh, making some scales. Okay, so we're going off with the peacock blue first. Okay. And remember, it doesn't have to go the whole way, just mix and, mix and match. I'll be right back. We're just going to add some more blotch. Oh, that's a green. Okay, we're just going to... We've got the emerald green water. Just going to add a bit of red. Oh, that is, like, so pretty. Oh, Mum! I was recording. We need to get some more blue. Why do I sound so American? Okay, we'll get, like, from this palette here. It's from Dean's Art, you should get it. Okay, we're just going to get some water. Water, water, water. Oh, okay, that's what we need. Okay, so we're just gonna get a bit of that. Da, 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 da. So we've got um, a lot of different variety of colors. To da. It's a new trend. Okay, there we go. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed. If you go down there or if you just want to be kind, give it a thumbs up. And if you didn't enjoy it, that's okay. You can still give it a thumbs up. <laughs> well, it's okay. Anyway, so here's the finished product. See you later.